So the eighth grade uh, stitch sampler is to practice putting on the webbing so that if you practice on this fabric first when you go to do your gym bag, uh, it will go on much nicer. You're going to start at this bottom corner here and you're going to sew in a rectangle shape. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to get back to the same point where you started and you're gonna sew diagonally up. You're gonna reinforce that top line again and then diagonally down. And so you have a box with an X in it. And when you get to this point, you're going to turn and you're gonna sew in that first groove all the way down. And then when you get to the bottom edge, you're going to make another box and then come diagonal. Reinforce this bottom edge and come diagonally up. And again, sew inside that first ridge and this time go all the way up to the top and end right there in that spot right there. Okay, so this is what it will look like on the sewing machine. Go down and then go ahead and stitch across. You don't wanna go off the edge, so go a little bit slow when you get there and if you want to use your hand wheel on the right side to get it in position. Then with the needle in the down position, that's important to remember every time, then turn it 90 degrees and stitch up to the top. And again, remember not to go off the edge. And then when you're going to turn it again, lift up the presser foot and then put it down and then stitch across. Then lift up your presser foot and come down that first ridge. So I'm gonna finish it off right there so that it goes completely around. Now I'm going to sew diagonal. And the key to sewing diagonal is not to watch the needle as you sew, but to keep your eye on the goal. Look at this corner right here. That's where I want to end up. So as I'm sewing, I'm not paying attention to the needle. I'm making sure that my eye is focused on that corner. And then as I sew toward that corner, I just make sure that I stop when it ends there. I need to go one more stitch. And then the needle is down and I turn and I reinforce that top edge one more time. Go right on top of the previous stitching line. Well, I went a stitch too far this time. That's okay, this is practice. Um, actually, because of that, I'm going to go back one stitch here so that I can go diagonal again. And again, one, on a diagonal stitch, always watch where you're aiming for. and I can go one more stitch to end up in the same place. Then turn it a little bit, it's not 90 degrees, but then just go straight down and you can see the ridge on the webbing that will guide your stitching. And for your sampler, just go all the way to the end, but leave that same amount that is from that first ridge at the end. And then go one more stitch, then lift it up and turn, create another box. Then turn it again 90 degrees and come up. And then turn it again and come straight across. Then turn it and sew diagonally. Reinforce the top edge. And that's where your webbing will get a lot of pull, so it's good to make sure that it's on the top edge. Then finish the X right there. And then lift it up, and then you're just gonna sew all the way to the top edge here. And on the last end, you don't have to backstitch, but you do want to reinforce that. So you're going to stop there, take your needle up, lift it up, and trim your threads. Let's just use scissors for this. And you need to trim the thread where you ended and where you began on both the top and the bottom for a stitch sampler that meets standard. And that's how you practice the webbing for your gym bag in eighth grade.